Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Ulan Gaming, and I know it's been a while, I keep saying that every time, but we're back with another Civilization Overview. I know I took a several week long break, but I'm still not abandoning this project, and uh, we're gonna do Dutch today. Uh, mostly because somebody asked me to do Dutch, and I figured, you know, I haven't made a video on this in weeks, so I might as well. <laughs> I, might, I might as well give somebody what they want with this. So, um... Yeah, here is the Dutch flag. It was a very easy one. It doesn't even look that bad, even for my standards. Uh, as for their unique mechanics, uh, villagers, uh, the Dutch have two unique mechanics, and that is their banks, which is a 700 resource costing building that generates coin for you. Uh, 350 food, 350 wood. Uh, and then the fact that their settlers also cost coin instead of food. I think they also get a coin gathering boost to their settlers, I think it's to their base settlers. I think it's like a base boost of 15% or something like that. Uh, their general playstyle is a turtle boom. Of course, this is not something that they always have to do, but just something that you will see more common than most. Uh, they do have uh, the basic bitch system of politicians and explorer for uh, their age up. So there is nothing particularly special there. You just click the bonus, and it, you, you just click the age up, and you get your bonus. Uh, now, for their unique units, they do have one, uh, which is the Reuter. Uh, the Reuter is a uh, very unique Dragoon. It is a cheap Dragoon. I think it costs 25 food and 75 coin, and only costs one population, and they are just an S-class Dragoon. Uh, they pump out a lot of damage when they are, uh, when you have a big mass of them, and they are very compact as well. They're not spread out like a lot of horse formations are. These guys are absolutely terrifying in mass, and sometimes it just feels like there's nothing you can do. Uh, but a Reuter mass is not anything without its skirm mass to uh, it, without its skirm mass to complement it, and that is where uh, the Dutch also excels because their other best unit, while not a unique unit, is definitely worth mentioning, and that is the skirmisher. Uh, now, Dutch don't have a Royal Guard Skirmisher. They don't even have an exemplary amount of Skirmisher upgrades. Uh, but their Skirmishers have two things going for them uh, that make them better than most Skirmishers. The first is that they are available in Age 2 and Shadow Tech to Age 3. Uh, so, the, and because Dutch have a lot of coin economy, they're able to mass these guys very easily, which makes them very, very good. Uh, and then the other thing that the Skirmisher has going for it is the existence of the Reuter. Just because it's paired with the Reuter, it just makes it better. Uh, so, Skirmishers for Dutch are very, very, very good. Uh, they do have a, a, a couple a pretty decent... Um, they do have a couple pretty decent upgrades uh, through cards for their Skirmishers, but they're nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, their primary unit composition involves a Skirm, skirm Goon and then a more Skirm Goon. And uh, more Skirm Goon as well. They might throw in some artillery. Uh, things to watch out for. Uh, the occasional Halb strat. So, uh, Dutch actually have very good age 2 Halbs. Uh, they have a Logistician upgrade going from age 1 to age 2 that will allow them to train veteran Halberdiers in the second age. And in addition to that, they also have um, a card in the, I think, the first age, first or second age, that allows them to boost Halberdier movement speed. So it is a very solid card that can make Halberdiers rather scary in the early game, especially with the speed boost they got a few patches ago. Um, the Halbstrat can be very scary if you're not expecting it, but if you are, it's not too difficult to, uh, to counter uh, ahead of time. Uh, they also equally occasionally will do a Hustrat right from the beginning, where a Dutch player will use their... Uh, their massive amount of coin production to uh, to get them a bunch of Hussar in the early age. Uh, this is generally more seen in team games than it is 1v1, I think. But uh, just overall, watch your opponent's deck, and that will tell you a lot about what they're doing. Uh, you don't need to pay too much attention to the economy cards, because most Dutch players are pretty uniform in their uh, age 1 and age 2 economy cards, even their age 4 economy cards, really. Uh, but just watch for all the other cards. And uh, that's... Wow, wow, I am over with this <laughs> overview really fast, like way faster than I was expecting. Um, yeah, no, I can't think of anything else. That's pretty much about it. Dutch is pretty straightforward. All right, bye.
thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, have a great day.